Hello everyone, I am Dr. Anime Shaha. I am a cancer specialist and today we will be discussing about radiotherapy for head neck cancer. So radiotherapy can be used in several ways in head neck cancer. It is often used after surgery for the purpose to reduce the risk of cancer coming back. Sometimes it is, it is used as a sole modality of treatment for head neck cancer patient. Uh, often radiotherapy is recommended along with chemotherapy in head neck cancer treatment. So there are several different types of head neck cancer radiation. Uh, the main goal is twofold. Number one to treat the tumor. Number two to reduce the risk of side effects. The various techniques are intensity modulated radiotherapy or IMRT image guided radiotherapy or IGRT, adaptive radiotherapy, uh, proton beam therapy, brachytherapy, concurrent chemo radiotherapy, uh, stereotactic radiotherapy, etc. IMRT uses highly advanced computer program to precisely treat the tumor or the cancer sparing the surrounding normal organ. Typically before your treatment, a team of doctor or oncologist a medical physicist and technician will make a CT scan that is to map your tumor in three dimension. This along with other information like PET CT and MRI will be taken into consideration before we make the plan. And the team uses a sophisticated computer software program to plan the treatment so that what kind of beam arrangement, what kind of angle, what kind of intensity modulation is needed. That's all our plan. The main purpose is to treat the tumor precisely and sparing the surrounding normal organ. Uh, image guided intensity modulated radiotherapy uses uh, imaging, uh, imaging information like CT scan or X-ray or MRI or PET CT scan. This along with sophisticated computer software uh, can help us to precisely treat the tumor in real time verifying these images in real time during treatment delivery. So adaptive radiotherapy means that we repeat the planning process whenever there is any change in treatment process or treatment plan. So uh, the changes can be from weight loss to tumor shrinkage. So ad we adapt or change our plan according to the change in the tumor shrinkage or weight loss so that we do not lose on the accuracy of the treatment. Uh, stereotactic radiotherapy in combination with image guided radiotherapy is an advanced form of treatment uh, which often deliver high dose of radiation in small number of sessions uh, sparing the surrounding normal organ but this is often used in a very selected patient it is not applicable for every patient in head neck cancer setting. So a proton beam therapy is uh, different from photon. So proton beam therapy basically stops uh, when the tumor stops or tumor ends. So there is less penetration beyond the tumor. That is why it is less likelihood that it will cause treatment side effects. Uh, however, um, it is not available everywhere and it is not recommended for all cases of head neck cancer. As of now, uh, the evidence suggests that it can be useful in recurrent head neck cancers, chemo radiotherapy. So uh, often radiotherapy is combined with uh, chemotherapy which is given usually weekly once. Uh, that chemotherapy basically the purpose of adding chemotherapy is to enhance the effect of radiation and this is often called chemo radiotherapy or concurrent chemo radiotherapy. Although the aim is to reduce side effect as much as possible, radiotherapy in head neck cancer do cause some side effect. Usually first two weeks is smooth going, patient do not have much side effect. Gradually the side effect builds up over time towards the end. The most common side effect is skin reaction, skin might become a bit red, a bit dark, sometimes skin excoriation is also there. It can cause sore mouth, difficulty in swallowing or pain while swallowing, lack of taste, dryness in the mouth. Uh, 
hoarse sense of the voice etc so we've got a team of rehab people which helps this head neck cancer patient throughout their journey during radiation therapy for head neck cancer our dental team helps to take care of the teeth any teeth issue that the patient can have uh, before or are during treatment our swallow therapist help the patient with various swallowing exercise to uh, keep their swallowing function uh, okay uh, we got a dietitian team which help throughout the head neck cancer radiotherapy course with various type of nutritional advice to the patient that's all for today thank you for listening